Greetings my esteemed audience. I'm checking in with another update. Perhaps you saw that the Legio Gloria Instagram account was taken down. Now something similar happened two years ago and then I made a video as well titled why they hate me. So you can watch that video first and then get back to this video. Similar topic but um, I wanted to share a different teaching this time around. So yeah, as you probably know, I didn't post anything even remotely controversial on that business account. It was strictly for business. It was um, a business account for the Legio Gloria clothing brand. So product pictures, that's what the account consisted of. Then it got taken down without any warning or given reason or anything like that. And of course it has to do with who I am. That is why they target me in such a nefarious and spiteful manner. Now you can stay updated on the clothing brand by yeah, going into the webpage itself, legiogloria.com, following me on Telegram, the golden one, or uh, on Twitter, have a Legio Gloria Twitter account as well where I will update. Now I might make a new Instagram account for Legio Gloria. Uh, hopefully I can get one of the old ones back. Uh, if not, maybe I'll create a new one and it doesn't feel particularly fun, but ultimately a business needs an Instagram account. Uh, most businesses do at least, especially a clothing brand. You know, you want to have that gallery function so people can find you and have a quick look at your um, your garments basically so it doesn't feel all too fun getting at it again um, starting to roll the heavy stone up the hill again and then in a, in a year or two they will remove that account um, it is what it is I will look into maybe maybe I can take some legal action here as well I'll see I'll look into it how it looks here in in good old Sweden about this matters anyway you can follow me of course on different social media in the description box below. Now, that all being said, the hermetic teaching of the emerald tablet that says, as above, so below. Now, we can use this example, as I posted just now on Telegram, I said that Julia, my wife and I, we are creative and loving souls. We like to create things, we like beauty, we like doing things. We like to express our divine favor by creating things, creating beauty. And in this case, just a very, very specific example, an Instagram account, you know, you have a nice gallery with a lot of beautiful shots. Now I have modeled my fair share in my days as a, first as a fitness model, of course, and then for clothing. So I know that a good photo shoot, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of preparation and work and, planning and just you know getting to the location having everything in order it takes a lot for the photographer as well i'm blessed of course with my beautiful wife being a great photographer uh, i also know how much work she puts into getting a good shot and of course if we're talking about the clothes themselves i put a lot of effort into you know presenting the best possible garments as i posted about recently i do believe that the spirit of Hugo Boss blessed me recently. Um, and I mean that with all sincerity, it was a certain sensation of clarity and motivation and uh, sort of a, a path being illuminated in front of me. And of course I have been very happy with the recent Legio Gloria releases as well. You know, good material, made in Europe, good fit. And um, yeah, I'm super happy with it. Now all of these things, we create beautiful things because that's who we are as individuals, two loving and creative people. Then you have spiteful individuals who can't create anything themselves. So therefore they can only gain joy by destroying things, by tearing things down. So my wife and I, we build something nice. In this case, a gallery full of nice pictures. These spiteful individuals, they see this and they can't cope with it. The only way they can get back at us for, I don't know what we have done even, um, just existing, that's a cause for offense apparently. Um, so they want to get back, they want to feel a bit better with themselves. So what can they do? They can't do something better themselves, of course. So they tear it down, they tear a 
hated civilization down. They tear a hated business endeavor down. Anyway, so that is what they're doing. And when I say the teaching at hand here is that as above, so below. Now this is a very specific example, an everyday example, below. The same thing, the same overall psychology is behind the destruction of Western civilization itself. So if you see this monument being torn down and being replaced by something that is thoroughly repulsive, same thing here. They know they can't make anything beautiful themselves, so they gain satisfaction of tearing down. And you have two personality types, or you have rather many, but in terms of this discussion we have creators and destroyers. Creators such as myself and my wife, we do create, we gain satisfaction in creating beautiful things. A beautiful garment, a beautiful video, beautiful uh, photography, beautiful art, beautiful calligraphy, whatever it might be. That way we gain satisfaction on that level. And then you have the destroyers. We can use another example, I've talked about it before. Amazon's rings of power, same thing. They know full well they can't do anything to rival the legendary trilogy, the masterwork, the masterpiece. Uh, so they take Tolkien's work and drag it through the dirt as a way to get back at a hated civilization. They can't be part of it, they can't do anything, they don't feel part of it, they can't do anything similarly beautiful, so they have to destroy it. Same thing with modern architecture, they can't build that way, they can't sculpt a heroic statue, so they tear it down. Modern art, same thing, they can't do any divinely inspired masterpieces because they aren't blessed by the gods, because they're resentful, spiteful, hateful, vicious individuals, so they say to themselves, this old art it's bad, so we create something new and this is actually good. Now of course you all understand that modern art is bad, but I'm using it as an example to highlight that what can be seen below in a very specific example, removing my Instagram account, that can be applied on a much bigger scale. So again, as above, so below. The destruction of Western civilization can be seen in these small instances as well. So anyway, the main teaching at hand is that you can find in small examples, you can find the same thing on a much larger scale. And as I see it with many of the things going on, especially as it pertains to architecture and art, um, I don't want to blackpill anyone, but you can sometimes see, you know, these Twitter pages showing before and after, and before you have a really beautiful part of a town, then they tear it down to replace with some socialist architecture. Uh, many such cases, many such cases indeed. And now, of course, my my dear second Legio Glory account, hopefully I can get it back. Uh, I have no idea. Otherwise, I will start again, start it again, the, the work, but uh, it is what it is. I'm not gonna lament it too much, but I wanted to have that said at least, to understand that there are many different personality types, but the two personality types that come into conflict now, creators such as myself, my wife, others who like to create things of beauty, uh, and then you have destroyers who don't have that capacity themselves, so they gain satisfaction by destroying the good work of others, so they don't feel so bad about themselves anymore. So, those were my thoughts for the day. Do check out all the links in the description box below. Follow me on all social media, and uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated if I create another Instagram. We'll see, we'll see how it turns out. Now, thank you for your support, and thank you for watching XOXO. Boom.